getting cash, baby. So don't you act like you made it from day one. Turn into a big oh Yo, what's up boys, it's Mythic here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to do the build up that you just seen at the start of the video. I'm going to leave a preset to it in the description, and yeah, let's get on with the video boys. Alright boys, so the first step is you just want to go into the description, into the Google Drive link, and download the preset. And you'll need Preset Manager 2.0, I'll leave a link to that in the description, it's very easy to get. Once you've done that, you just want to go into your files, open up the file. What this will show up in the preset manager 2.0. You just want to go to FX Change, click on uh, the preset, and just press the little copy to system. And I've already got it, but this won't pop up for you, it'll just be blank. Once you've done that, you just want to close out of it and load up Vegas. Alright, boys, so once you've opened up Vegas and you've imported your song and your clip, you just want to find the beat drop where you want it to have the impact. And mine's here. And then just find the uh, shotgun shot. Once you find it here, go from there, go one, two, three, four, five, back, and split the clip and drag that along to the marker. Then I'm just going to drag it along, do a little fade because I'm editing a full highlights. And then on the clip, just add, add velocity. You can do your own velocity. I'm just going to do mine. Once you've done that, just split the clip on the beat drop and you can add your own preset. I'm going to add my normal one that I like. And you want to go about, 40, I'd say 45 frames back, around about there. I'm going to go about here and add the preset that is in the video, in the description. And you should have something like this. You'll need the sapphire plugins and that's it you you don't need btc for this this is just sapphire and once you've done that you'll see it'll have no fade at all it'll just go straight to the clip and to simply have the fade just drag this clip along i'd say to about 15 15 seconds in and then you'll have a nice fade in that and now i'm going to show you how to do the second part which is the zoom effect right so these two final parts are still very simple this is really easy once you've done all that, just go onto here and you see here you can keyframe it. I'd say go to about half, just just past halfway in and add a keyframe and just leave that there. Leave the keyframe there and then go about halfway between the end and that keyframe and a bit more to the right. Add another keyframe and you just want to play about with this until you like how it looks here. So I'm going to go for this angle like this and I'd say drag it out so there's no uh, black bars and I'd say that, that looks pretty nice. I'm going to rotate it. You can rotate it either way, it's up to you. It depends what the clip is. I'm going to go this way and then just set this to smooth, I'd say smooth and then Add a keyframe at the end. Put this back. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just put this back to near enough full. Like that. And I'd put this to fast. And basically you're pretty much done now. There's just one more simple thing. But I'll show you what it looks like now. Oh Alright, so the last thing you want to do is you just want to split the audio at the start of the build-up. And at the... Just before the beat drop and add go to normal effects add resonant filter you don't need a plugin for it and on the preset of this find muffler and just save that and this is the finished finished effect play it one more time for you and that's basically it. It's that simple. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Uh, let's get 50 likes and I'll do another tutorial within the next week or so. And yeah, see you boys.